Hi everybody, I'm Kenya and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So if you're here today, you are someone who is serious about your life and you aspire to be successful and happy. So today I want to start a series and I want to call it like Motivational Mondays and um, yeah. So basically today's topic will be thinking bigger. Now, I have my own personal testimony, so I hope that someone can walk away with a little bit of, you know, ambition and umph after listening to this video. Alright, so years ago when I first got into property management, I started out working for a temp agency. So they put me at a property and I was answering phones, I was showing people apartments, but when it was time to hire me, I kept getting all these excuses. Well, she's not ready. You're not ready. And I remember one day the phone rang and I answered, Hey, this is Kenya. Welcome to such and such property. How may I help you? And one of like the upper managers answered the phone and she was like, Oh my gosh, Kenya, that was so good. Like you answered the phone so good. Just like this. Mind you, I'm like 28 years old. 28 years old and she's talking to me like I'm a child it's like oh my god that was so good like it was a little bit condescending and it was annoying mind you prior to getting into property management I used to be a realtor I was a rental agent and so I was basically renting compartments under a broker and I talk about that a lot on this channel if you just scroll back and watch some older videos of mine and the part that got me was she kept saying you're not ready but the thing is as a realtor you're basically an entrepreneur you're working for yourself so every day as a rental agent i was answering hundreds of phone calls answering a slew of emails showing apartments and renting them and mind you in my brain i'm thinking like there was a time where i was renting like townhouses in a gated community in new jersey where celebrities lived overlooking the Hudson River like I was renting places doper than what y'all are trying to rent and you're telling me I'm not ready like how dare you tell me I'm not ready when I already knew what I could do mind you I was doing a lot of luxury rentals in the northern New Jersey area and this area was like Central Jersey um, Perth Amboy I don't want to give away the property name um, but it was just very very annoying and it felt like I was begging for this position and so if you're wondering why I was pursuing a position in property management versus working as a rental agent and it's because I was burned out as a rental agent at the time um, every time the phone rang I felt pressured to answer it because I could be missing out on money and I just needed something different I did not like the hustle culture of working as a rental agent like it, I did well but at the same time, like my mental health was suffering. I was tired. My body was tired. Like I was tired. And so I was trying to do something different. And so the company that hired me to do the temp job, I called them and I said, can you guys just switch me to a different property? Or switch me to a different company's property. Like, I don't know. I just did not like the vibe I was getting. It was like they were using any excuse not to hire me. It wasn't because I wasn't reliable. I was late every day. Not because, you know, I wasn't successful at actually renting apartments. And I remember um, there was a guy who also would come in and rent apartments. And he would say little sly things to me. Like, I, I don't, I, I did not know this man. I it was just, we were just working. And he would say little things to me as if, like, I didn't know what I was doing. And I'm just thinking to myself, like, this is nothing. Answering phone calls for one property all day, and all I have to remember is the information for this one property versus the plethora of properties that I had when I was a rental agent. And I don't want to pull the, uh, the race car up. Or maybe I wasn't the right type of black. I, I'm not sure. I just know there was a disconnect. And it had nothing to do with my ability working there. Because if I was not efficient, they would have called the company I was working for. And told them not to have me back. And to send them someone else. But they kept. I kept going week after week. So, I want to say, sometimes our plans don't work out. is because we are thinking way too small. We are thinking way too small. Now, in my brain, I wanted to just be a leasing consultant for this property. Way out in the middle of West 
you know what if i was to work up here in northern new jersey next to new york city it's more foot traffic people want to live in those areas because it's quick access into new york city so long story short i end up getting a phone call one day for an interview as a property manager got a job as a whole property manager with no experience meanwhile all i could think of is how am i going to get a permanent job as a leasing agent whole time i got a job as a property manager which is higher than a leasing agent like got a whole different position a whole better position that was more in alignment with me who i am as a person and where i am trying to go in life so sometimes you're not getting the opportunities because you're thinking too small and that could be with any area of your life you're looking for an apartment maybe it's meant for you to live in a townhouse you got your eye on mr mr sunshine but there's another man over here who was way better he is mr you know universe <laughs> you know and so sometimes don't get frustrated keep pushing forward keep God first prayer because I did pray during those times and I got a position that was much better than the position that I was wanting so 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 badly so yeah that's my message sometimes we're just thinking too small but don't give up because there's always something better and I know that's cliche people always say it and you probably like girl I've heard that a million times before but I'm just telling you my own testimony and why when things don't work out the way I intend for them to work out I know it's because it's not supposed to work out in that way it was never supposed to work out in that you way think it's small we need to be thinking big you need to be thinking big bitch <laughs> you need to be thinking big bitch think big bitch <laughs> and so yeah that is all. I don't want this video to be too long or too long-winded. But if you've made it to the end of this video, I want to thank you for coming to Kick It With Me today. And subscribe. Like the video if you got something from it. Forward it to a friend if you know somebody who needs to, you know, just hear this message on today. And yes, I will see you in my next YouTube video. Toodles.